Wildfires destroy millions of acres of U.S. forests each year, and in some cases, those forests struggle to regenerate. Anthony Pura spoke to a company using drones to plant new trees. As the country experiences more large and destructive wildfires, it's become harder for nature to bounce back. U.S. forests are really at a at a crisis point. Uh, we have seen catastrophic wildfires. David Lytle with the U.S. Forest Service says some forests need help to regrow. The process usually demands crews hand planting lab grown seedlings in scorched areas. It's labor intensive and time consuming, but some are speeding up the process with drones. If, if natural regeneration is occurring less and less um, because the, the fires are high severity, uh, what we need to do is we need to be able to step up and be able to as humans, reforest faster. Grant Canary is CEO of Drone Seed, a company in Washington state. Workers deploy swarms of drones in fire devastated areas, often over rough terrain. They map out the area and the drones are programmed to drop seed vessels in locations marked ideal for their survival. The seed vessels are about the size of a hockey puck. Inside, seeds of native trees and other elements that assist in the growing process. How much can one drone plant versus one person. So generally we take a look at it and, and difficult terrain, we're seeing about drones can navigate and fly across that terrain uh, about six times faster than humans. While the U.S. Forest Service is exploring ways to partner with companies and organizations that use drones to reforest, Lytle says hand planting seedlings is often more successful. It has a higher likelihood of survival uh, because it's grown to a, a you know, a, a larger size and is more developed than, than a seed would be. University of California forestry specialist William Stewart says because drones are still relatively new to the reforestation picture, it's difficult to measure their cost effectiveness and success rate. There's no reason to just say we can only do it the old way or we're only going to do it the new way. I think we're going to see both of them out there on the landscape. A landscape that's constantly threatened by fires and increasingly needing help to replenish and restore what was lost. Anthony Pura, CBS News.